subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, today on Lady Mary Beth, we will shop a living estate sale in Franklin, Tennessee. You're probably wondering what that is. Well, it's a situation where the family's still living and maybe they're downsizing or combining households, perhaps moving to a retirement community. I've previewed this auction online. Let's come on in and see what they've got for us today. It's a beautiful home in this gated community in the Cool Springs area of Franklin, Tennessee, which is near Nashville. It's a rainy day and it's five minutes before opening. Not too big of a crowd, which is fine with me. And you know, as soon as I enter an estate sale, I make a beeline for the dining room and it did not disappoint. Lots of beautiful things, including the dishes. And I previewed it, they didn't show a back stamp, but I'm pretty sure that it's Haviland. And I did reach out to a friend in Houston who loves Haviland. It's that telltale sign with a creamy background, beautiful florals. So let's turn it over and see. And it is Theodore Haviland, New York, the apple blossom pattern. And it is lovely, quite a few dinner plates, which is nice. 44 pieces total. And it's a fair price. There are a few chips on items. This tea set is lovely. Looks very European for $25, that's a good price. Dainty teacups with a really neat back stamp. The inside of the teapot did have some breakage, but it could still be used and enjoyed. These hexagonal mint julep cups are neat, would be great for centerpiece. And these beautiful glass flowers would be fun to add to a display. There are just so many great items, and since I'm flying, I can't bring too much home. For $25, this elegant glass bowl and underplate would be a really good deal. These I'm definitely getting. I can carry those home. Sterling silver weighted candle holders, $25 for the pair with the Gudrun border. They're lovely. This Wedgwood Jasper box in the green is a steal at $8. I have quite a nice collection and have friends that collect the green. It's got a nice back stamp on it. Isn't that a neat item? I can't wait to get that home. And here are some great giftables for $4. This Meal Fiore glass bowl. You could give it as is in a nice gift box or fill it with candies. This glass crackled rose bowl at $3 is a steal, but I just can't take it all home. And that looks like chinoiserie for $4. Let's see what that's about. Those are different votives, so you could actually create a display with it as a tower or use them on your table. And the Fostoria American pattern, I'm sure you recognize. I just love this classic look. And the prices are good. I'm gonna pass on this since I'm flying, but I think the last day of the sale, that's going to be the best bargain. And those sherbets are very practical. Anything from shrimp cocktail to a dessert. And these hexagonal base glasses you've seen me feature in episodes. Really like those. And here's some more dishes. This is Noritake, 47 pieces for $125. I think that's very fair. And I bet that those will go today. Here's a nice oval platter from Haviland. And that could just be added to some white dishes for interest. And this, I've seen something similar before. I think that's quite valuable for $8. I didn't look into it further because I know I just can't take it home. And the dining room has so many nice items. I like the silver plated pedestal cake stand that could be used for a centerpiece. You could put a glass cloche on top of that and create a nice display. So that could be a base for just about anything you want to create, not just for serving cakes. And it's in excellent condition. This pitcher, silver plated for $25. It's a very graceful look. 
that has a footed design. Really like that. It's from the Crescent Silver Company EPNS, which is your sign for silver plate. And these goblets I think are lovely. You could put three or six down a table with florals or serve wine out of them. You could even fill one with candy and put it on a table. I like to use things in an unexpected way. More of the Fastoria American pattern. 25 for the pair of candle holders is fair. But I think the deal is that picture right there for $20. It looks like it could be Miller Rogoska. I didn't see a mark on it. If I were not flying, I would definitely load that in my car. It didn't take long for someone to grab that. I think I was the first one in the dining room. And here's a nice depression glass piece for $8. And for $6, oh, so many possibilities here. And think about gifts as well. This Jack in the Pulpit vase for $12 is an excellent item. And this ice bucket is also a steal. And $20, you can't go wrong. You could do so much with that. And that one went pretty quickly too. And you could add this leaf dish to your fall display. I'm really liking the Swan Design lamp. I think that could really add some interest to a study or even a living room for $75. You're getting quality. And I do have a nice collection of the Linux with the gold accents. For $12, I'm definitely getting this. I'm shipping at home. And I can see this as a pedestal piece, not necessarily just for serving cake or cookies on it, but building up and using that in a centerpiece. I love trinket boxes. These are not Limoges. There is no logo other than a number and it looks to be hand painted. It's quite nice. And the pair of Chippendale chairs is really neat for $300. I think that price will be a lot better when it's half price the next day. And this linen piece I think is great if you add your monogram to it. A nice hand towel for $4. I kept meaning to go back and get it but I was distracted by so many other things. And I'm really liking the dining room furniture, especially that dark background on the upholstery. It's very striking. And these are the classic Duncan Fife Rosette carved mahogany chairs. I think that would go just with about any decor. $650 for eight chairs and the table with leaves is a steal. Here's a nice Linux collection with the birds, the winter greeting. And this went very quickly. 30 minutes later, I walked back in the room and it was pretty much cleaned out. And here you've got new in boxes, items that you could present for Christmas. I hope that someone took these chairs home with that lovely table. You can't go to a furniture store and get anything of that quality. So keep that in mind when you're looking to change your look or furnish a home. Always look at estate sales in your area, 395 and the buffet is lovely. And remember the last day of the sale is usually half price. Here is a silver plated candle holder for $6. That fits a hurricane. So obviously the glass piece is missing, but you could fill that in with something else. And you often find some neat items in the kitchen because maybe they kept some really nice items in the kitchen cabinets that maybe they pulled out and used often. Here we have just kind of a smattering of different items. Here's a glass compote with the, an interesting fluted petal design. I like those apple bowls for an apple crisp. Wouldn't it be fun with a dollop of ice cream? And just some random items they pulled together here. I like those trivets or perhaps their wall hangings. Almost like Majolica. And this I've seen at a Franklin Goodwill and I've also seen it as Southern Living at Home for $18. And these are definitely not Limoges. They're a bit too colorful for that, but they are interesting. I like that cake. Not everything was priced. I did have to inquire about several things. And this oval piece I think would be nice for a centerpiece, or you could even maybe serve baguette in it. Southern Living at Home. And the price is right, and I love the color. And this we're definitely taking for our family in Franklin, they love that color, aqua blue and seahorses. Mid-century canisters. It's not a complete set, but it's enough that you could create a nice look in a coffee bar or a kitchen. And the trivets are nice for $4 each. 
And here's our box. They gave us a box as we came in and we're adding things to it as we go along. My father is also getting some things, including some cookware and the practical items. I go for the China Crystal Silver, but he has a house full, so he's getting more kitchen items. These would be nice buffet plates or perhaps even chargers. I love that shade of blue. And these napkin rings, I think will be perfect with a solid navy, yellow, or even these plaid. And look at these cornucopia vases. This is Roseville pottery, highly collectible. And the price is right. I think those are gonna go really fast today. I do occasionally see that at estate sales. And I like these flutes. Wouldn't that be fun for a party? You'll see in a few minutes upstairs, they have uh, some furniture that looks like it matches it. I love pie servers. That has a lot of character to it. I like the Pierce design. And this corning where you probably have seen before, that's something I grew up with. Very classic look and it's highly collectible. Peter Rabbit, Merry Christmas plates. Oh, wouldn't that be fun for a new baby, especially one that's born around the holidays. I see punch cups, but not a punch bowl. And here's the old fashioned mixer. That would be fun to add to a kitchen for $4. Ooh, it's a nice trifle bowl, new in a box. Lots and lots of cookware, and I think the prices are really good. For some reason, it's often overpriced when you go to estate sales. I love making waffles. This is a double one that you flip, and brand new in a box, $18 for a really nice stainless steel rice cooker. I think that's a steal. You know, I'm always looking for that blue and white chinoiserie. This planter is nice, and I think it was around $10, but I just had to pass on it since I'm not with my car today. Just some odds and ends here on the patio. There's Pier 1 imports, pillows that are new in bags, wicker baskets, planters, and even a watering can. Practical items. And the living room did not disappoint with this beautiful chinoiserie floral display. Absolutely love the poppies. I considered getting this but I would have to ship it home. And for $65, I just wasn't sure. But I do think that that, if I lived locally, I probably would get it. And this ginger jar is catching my eye for $12 with the peacocks. That would be great for just about any season. Isn't that beautiful? Let's look at the back stamp on that. It's a company you probably have heard of, Andrea by Sadek. And that company was started in 1936 in New Rochelle, New York. And they work with factories around the world to create unique items for home and kitchen and table. And you know I'm getting this blue and white chinoiserie egg for my Easter collection for $3. And here's a larger ginger jar by Andrea, by Sadek. And it did have a chip in the top that's not visible when it's complete when the lid is on it, but I am getting it anyway for $8 because either I'll take the top off and use it for florals or keep the lid on and you can't see it. Brass candlesticks didn't get priced yet, but wouldn't that be a nice start to a collection? And they had some uniforms that look like they might be from a military school. I'm not sure what that's about. Trinket box for $4. Think of that as a sweet gift you could give someone perhaps put a piece of jewelry in it to present. And they know what they have here, Charles Stewart chairs. It's a lovely tapestry pattern. They had some nice linens too. Really like the design on those. I'm kind of full up in that department, so I didn't get any. Very simple hem stitch edging, classic. I think the price is right. And this sofa, I really like that moss green color. We have. A similar one in Germany, just the color, not the actual design of the sofa. And it's 1,850 from Ballard Designs, which is probably about half the price. I would wait till the last day for that. And these napkins with the raised monogram are only $1 each. You can do so much with napkins. You can make them into potpourri sachets, or you can embroider your own monogram. I love the damask. 
So think about the different possibilities when you look at linens at an estate sale. And I love pineapples, so let's look at this lamp. It's an interesting shade. And $18. I do like that, but I just don't have any more space for lamps. And the cabinet is practical. I could go in a TV room. You could set maybe your flat screen on top of it for $95. And they have a lot of dance items I noticed in this house. That's a Scandinavian company, new in a box. Oh, I see a Tennessee Titans logo. I've made glasses for the team, the Fireball logo. And dish towels are always fun to buy at estate sales. I don't care if they've been used before. It doesn't bother me one bit. The master bedroom has lots going on. I didn't really look too carefully at the bed linens or clothing. Those boots sure are nice though. You know, we're in Tennessee, 65. And I didn't see any handbags that I recognized as far as a brand, besides maybe Vera Bradley. I was looking for Mary Frances or Coach but they do have a hair extension kit that looks like my color. Hmm. And this bowl you might recognize as the apple blossom pattern we saw in the beginning with the Haviland. It's got a chip in it, but I do want to reunite that with a set in case someone does purchase it because maybe they'll use it as a centerpiece and drape a flower over that chip so it's not visible. It could still be purposeful. So I definitely want to put that back together with it. And let's see what else they've got here in the bedroom. I see some soaps, perfumes. This jewelry organizer could also be used in the office setting, especially if you want to add a pop of color. You could put paper clips in that. And so many uses. Let's take a look in the ladies' closet. It's a cashmere shawl at 45. Probably would pass on that. I don't usually shop estate sales for clothing, but sometimes you do find one special piece. I see Calvin Klein tags on something. And these towels are definitely well loved, but it would be a great idea for a homeless shelter. You could pick them up affordably. And they sell everything, including the hairspray. A pair of topiaries and lamps could be useful even in a dining room. Look at the uh, design there would lend itself to so many ideas. Let's go upstairs into some of the guest rooms. And here it's looking a lot like Christmas. You know, usually they pull Christmas from the attic and that's why you find it upstairs. Water for Crystal, I am here. You have my attention and I'm a seahorse girl. So let's see about that. Actually, they did give me a price, it's $20. That you could hang from a chandelier even, or it could be an ornament. And it did have the original fancy jeweled ornament hanger inside the box. You could easily re-gift that or sell it on eBay. And these two items are piquing my interest. I love crystal trees. It's also a dance item, which is Scandinavian. Water for crystal ball from the holiday heirloom collection. Those are highly collectible. You could sell that on eBay. And these are those hand-painted ceramics from the 70s. We had a set growing up, reminds me of that. And ribbon, love to have ribbon on hand. I actually have too much. This is from Costco, it's a Kirkland brand and they were $4 a roll, so I did grab a few. And here's your ready-made Christmas tree. You could just take it home and no need to decorate too much. $65, I think the price is right. And you don't think of estate sales for holiday decor but you know everybody's got it so it's really a good opportunity to add things i love that ornament you could showcase that and you know for eight dollars you could create a centerpiece with that or with this that's a nice reindeer and it's even more enticing when it's the last day of the sale half price and you could get your christmas card list ready and buy some affordable cards at an estate sale and this is definitely a more modern look. It reminds me of those champagne flutes that we saw in the kitchen. And the red sofa, you could actually tone it down with some neutral colors and create a different look. Here's another guest room. And I'm liking that Cheval mirror. When my daughter was setting up her college apartment, we were desperate to find one. We actually got a smaller one at an estate sale. 
and I think this is a really quality piece for $95. That's a good price. Let's see what's in the closet here. Looks like they're winter storage for blazers. Nothing too interesting for me. The wicker lingerie chest for $75 with the glass top. I think that's fair. It's a good item. You could store linens in it. And this mirror for $75, I'm thinking you could do some gold leafing on that wood. And this is fun. They do have some pops of color in this house. I love the teacups for kitchen. That would be nice. And there's so much to see besides that lovely quilt. These bookends for $12. It really looks old world like you've planned and shopped and traveled. This East Lake table is quite something. I bought a similar item at a garage sale recently. For $1.95 with a marble top, that's fair, but I would wait for half price day. Hmm, the seashells are nice for a centerpiece. But I want to show you the quilt. That's something that's really neat. It's a double wedding ring. I like the use of color here and the different pieces of fabric. 95 is a fair price. Quilts do go for a lot at estate sales and they do keep you warm. I really like quilts and that's quite a pretty one. And there's another one for 45. This must be the craft or sewing room. I noticed this in the preview pictures and I knew it would go for over a thousand on the first day of the sale because they retail for about 3,500. The Bernina machines and love the edging on this, the hand crocheted. Someone put a lot of work into that and this is hand tatting right here. It does have some holes in it, but I think you could still repurpose it. And if you're looking for that little black dress, here you are, ready for a night in Nashville. And this lamp kind of reminded me of Chinoiserie with the finial. I didn't see a price on it, but it's a very dramatic look with the black base. And this, I think, was a TV cabinet. You could definitely repurpose that, make it into a coffee bar or just about anything else and paint it. And the desk setting was kind of mundane, except for this lamp. I really like that kind of a um, Frank Lloyd Wright look for $45. And you probably have seen these train cases in movies. It's probably one from the early 70s. It's in excellent condition. And that was a cosmetic bag. Very practical. I've seen these repurposed as art kits for kids. You could do a lot with it. Reminds me of growing up. Great for traveling. Or for putting breakables in and getting on an airplane. Some more comfortable chairs. Let's walk back downstairs. I'll give you a nice view of that double wedding ring quilt. It's just beautiful. And a very fair price. Some more chinoiserie. That's a beautiful planter. $20 is a good price. But I have to pass since I'm traveling. And that's a nice drum table, but I'm looking at what's on top of it. I almost didn't notice this in the beginning. It's a beautiful orchid that looks quite real. And the price is right for $12. And now I'm thinking, can I pack this in a box and ship it home? Oh yes, that is exactly what I will do. I have some ideas for that. Oh, I like those red chairs. And here's another interesting piece for $12. I probably should have bought this. It is made in occupied Japan, which means that it was made in 1945 or as late as 1951 when Western forces occupied Japan. This is a hand painted piece, therefore no back stamp and some nice artwork here for a safari look. Those are beautifully framed. And I didn't see any jewelry that was really stellar. It's mostly fashion pieces, but it's always worth a look. And this small box that's been hand painted for $3, I'm taking home. That can definitely fit in my purse for the plane. And we're near Nashville. So, you know, there's gotta be something to represent Music City, USA. And some more Shimazuri planters. They're teasing me today. I wish I could pick these up and take them home, but it's just not gonna work out for me today. This is a piece that I think is really special. That's lusterware and it's Japanese. It does have a repair on it. But look at that back stamp. 
Noritake made in Japan. They have some neat items at the register. This is a United States Congress money club that was perhaps given to the family by a congressman or congresswoman. And this string of pearls, I think would be maybe better on half price day. Those are fresh water from the Stour Company. I recognize that S logo and you could easily look it up online and it would make a great gift. And the Yadro is nice. I didn't inquire about the price, but those are really neat. And think about alternate uses when you see things at an estate sale, like these earrings, one is missing a post. You could add that to a display and create a whole new look. Now it's time to check out. Thanks for coming along today for this estate sale in Franklin, Tennessee. I sure got some deals and you can see this room is definitely picked over, although there are lots of beautiful items left. Here's a sterling candle holder for $12 with a Gadroon border. Isn't that neat? I just love shopping estate sales. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with estate sale finds.